you want to dance? I asked her. She said, yes. And that was how it all began. One of my jobs is teaching drama to over 50s, or actually over 60. And one of the students wrote a play, which we did under rehearsal conditions, and they worked very hard, it went down very well, and I thought it's a shame for them just to do it for one performance. So I said, would you like to make a film? And they said, yes, so we went for it. Do you want that toast? Well, the play on which the first one was based is called Miss Threadgold, and it's about an, a middle-aged Asian man who turns up at an old, old people's retirement home claiming to be the new doctor, but he's actually looking for his mother, who deserted him and his father when he was a baby. And when he meets his mother, the confrontation is quite dramatic. You are my mother. Doesn't that mean anything to you? Well, not really. I only met you once. Well, we made the film, um, and when I was um, opening it up, the, the, the story, to make it more cinematic, I created two new characters, uh, Marjorie Threadgold and her young husband, who never actually appears in the play. Um, and I became interested in their backstory. Why did Marjorie leave her husband and child? What was it in the way that Nizam brought his little boy up, which turned him into the doctor who reacts this way? Your husband made the dying wish. A dying wish? How tiresome. I am sorry you feel like that. We had no funding. This is what's called a no-budget production, which means for a start nobody gets paid. But obviously there are expenses, and any expenses uh, came out of my pocket, like the film stock, and feeding the cast and crew. This started off as an older people's project, but uh, without young people, without what you, is now known as intergenerational, there is no way it would have got made. I don't want you to touch me. Not now. Not ever. Why are you saying that? You're my wife, I love you. You're having our baby, of course I want to touch you. Please, don't. There were props and costumes to be found, of course. We did that, raiding people's attics, raiding our own wardrobes. People were very generous. There's a vintage shop in Waterloo which lent us party frock and um, wedding frock for Marjorie. I needed it for the dance hall. I didn't have the money to pay the fee. A local businessman coughed up for me. Did you at any stage um, find it all just too much and you'd like to give up? No, I'm not a quitter. Uh, but, uh, yes, there were times when I thought, is this ever, ever going to be over? You'll be fine when the baby's born. Everything will be all right. Come here. Can you please just leave me alone? I don't want you to touch me ever again. Do you have further plans? There is another project uh, I've worked on with the class, a theatre project we were asked to create on the uh, problem that a lot of older people have now of becoming very isolated. And I am now looking for funding to turn that into a film for people who are working in that area to use to get their message across. I love my baby, say it's forever, such a cool one.